expecting to be at lower reason than I am right now. Hmm. Really, it's Doom that's been more of a concern. Doom de doom de doom. We've got an eye for art and details. Knowledge of various rituals and regional myths. I could up my knowledge. Or I could up my perception. Hmm. Uh. We'll see. I'll go with the perception then. And just pray I don't need to do anything with knowledge. And I will probably... The extra damage, additional combat damage might be a problem that I might want to take care of. We'll see. I will need another fun to get rid of it though, most likely. I think. What's the effect now? Okay, dangerous bands of riders are gathering around downtown area. Police are hopeless. We are gonna have to look out for riders then. In downtown. Anyway, let's get some extra stamina in here. Another day begins. What's out in the peephole? That thing again. Probably just my imagination. That didn't remove my stamina without me knowing, right? For my reason? Hmm. Well, anyway. Now we've got three more done mysteries left. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. This one's pretty simple to clear. As long as I don't trigger the boss fight. And even then, if I trigger the boss fight. You know what? Yeah, we'll do this one next. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? Let's look into it. First we need to investigate the fourth location twice. If only I had a map for this. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. Let's see. E. Five experience. Didn't read that. Oh well. The trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Minus two reason. Joy. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. The item. Let's investigate it. I write... Is this just gonna be... Okay, nothing. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share death, and that connection will all last you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. Creepy. Oh, joy. Minus one stamina. While the school's library computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her at home in the city. Let's travel downtown. And I will not shop just yet. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? I'm pretty poor, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to increase doom if I can help it. We'll try for the strength check. Yes! 
Uh, and that grants us one reason. Nice. <laughs> this run has been the opposite of Rome's run, despite being the same seed. Just to double check, it is the same seed. Yeah, here. Here's the evidence that I'm still playing the Rome seed. What is this? The quick exercise helps clear your mind. Alright. You lug the, the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs, teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. Let me just check real fast. I have nicotine withdrawal! Things aren't more expensive, are they? Mm. Let's just hope I don't have to encounter any. But, eh, I can avoid triggering the battle ending. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, you, her skin a pale, a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Charisma 7? Let's see... Success! Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Plus 5 experience. Nice! You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. Can our neighbor join us? No, not in this. Unfortunately, I don't have that particular mystery. Oh well. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? Plus two funds, minus one reason. <coughs> Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. <clears throat> oh yeah, I have three funds. You know what? We'll go ahead and take care of that burn. Now, how can I help you today? I'll take this, and I will happily... Deal with this. Oh, that only cost one. I guess minor injuries only cost one. So I could have healed that at any point. Blah. <clears throat> You're stopped dead in your tracks by the feeling of cold metal against your back. You look over your shoulder. Recognize me? The Yakuza's face sneers. Ooh. Uh, go for his weapon! What the hell? You let out a rumbling yell, turning and driving your fist into... Empty air. There's nobody there. He's gone. Your wild swing sends you stumbling and confused. <clears throat> All of this is really starting to get to you. But even if you ran into one of the real guys, they'd probably hate your guts as, just as much. Minus one reason. Well... You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering out of her grandparents' home in the, at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. <clears throat> Old friend, this is not the friend they were referring to. <clears throat> Let's chat. Okay, thankfully, that's a failure, so we actually get reason from that. Apparently... Is not much for conversation. Even though we can talk to statues just fine. As you pull. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is very dry and I'm gonna need to get water after this mystery. <coughs> As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa's students leapt in front of a train, hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin screeching down the village streets. To the village! <clears throat> Curious bookstore. Ooh, this is nice. You've stumbled upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. 
The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I help you? Asks the tiny man behind the counter. I have things that will surely help you in your quest. <clears throat> so we don't have enough for a magic item. We can get a spell for what we have. I'm sure you'll make good use out of this. Okay. Gain a spell. Enthrallment. Again! <laughs> Alright, I'll hold on to that for now. Thankfully, I have- I pretty much have the reason to, uh, take it. You know what, actually, yeah. I can- I can actually spare the reason, despite this seed. Uh, Fujiko. Your kick action deals one additional damage. Okay, well, I'm not really fighting by kick, so that's not really gonna help me too much, but... If I'm correct, and that's another sign that I'm gonna need to take a break after this, uh, I'm gonna need to feed the dogs. Good to know. Uh, alright. But yeah, if anything, I'm pretty sure that means I'll be a bit faster in combat, so... Woo. When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for, the, for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Professor Takeuchi. Uh, no one answers when you knock at Professor Takeuchi's door. This is odd, since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong, and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves a little doubt as to what happened. But how? And why? We don't have a cult sign, so we can either scavenge the room for useful items, or search the room for clues. I'll look for items. And we got an item! You rummage through the drawers, trying to find anything useful. The sound of police sirens forces you to grab the nearest item and flee the crime scene. Yeah, I'll beat them just a moment. Uh, so let me just put this in storage and see what that was. Oh, an energy drink. I also have a semi-auto? When did I get this? I didn't... When did I get this? <laughs> huh. Um... Okay, this is faster for the same amount of damage and higher chance to hit. Uh... Okay. <laughs> we'll go ahead and equip that, and now we can pistol whip things to doom. Sweet! I'm gonna be the pistol whipping Haru. Yay! Just what I've always wanted. <laughs> Corpse dust... Plus 20 experience, minus 2 luck, I'll storage that for now. Get these out. Good to know. Yeah, if you can get, especially, I guess now if I can get the CQC uh, uh, perk, that'll be super handy. Because I was, if I was killing things before, now, you. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Hmm. I already have that, so... You know what? Let's let's take the wine this time. A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything with you. The wine is terrific. I haven't actually had wine. I probably should just to know how it tastes at some point. Of course, I have enough bottles to last a whole year, your friend says, handing you a a bottle. And that empty bottle will come in handy. Just one extra stamina point at each investigation from here on out. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone. And then it finally connects. Welcome home. Do you like it? I'm glad. 
take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you heard about? You read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Okay, that was too easy. <laughs> We've escaped everything that has held us back in life. We don't need have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. You need to think carefully about how to respond. So, this will actually give us the A rank ending. This will let us fight the modem. And I think this is just you refuse. I forget, but... Honestly, I kind of don't want to fight the modem right now if I want to go for a specific ending on the bot botanist. I'm gonna try and see if that's worthwhile, so I'll just get the A rank ending for now. You explained the imminent arrival of the old god. With its limitations, the bulletin could never hope to gather humanity in time. Not to mention how many people are unable to access a computer. As it is, convincing all of humanity to die is impossible. Oh. Then we'll have to wait. It's disappointing, but that's alright. When computers advance and everyone can be connected, we'll come back for you. It's a promise, okay? The noise on the other end of the line suddenly cuts out completely. Still reeling from the mental assault, you find yourself staggering toward the futon. You collapse into it, and sleep soon takes you. You're awakened by the sound of a phone ringing. After what had just happened, you hesitate to answer. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> you warily grab the handset. When you put the phone to your ear, you hear the trembling voice of the girl you, you met in the village. I, I can't thank you enough. It was in my head. And I nearly... She bursts into tears, thanking you over and over. You smile, relieved. You later learn that the suicides have come to a sudden and complete halt. But even still, its promise still lingers in your mind. I said still twice in that sentence. Whoops. How long do you have until it comes back for you? You smother the thought. 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 For now, it's finished. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Ending A. Knowledge is key, plus 30 experience. We're gonna level up. Thorough investigation, plus 15 experience. There's still hope. Minus 3 doom. Tireless. We get reason and stamina. And one day passes. Woo. What's the next effect? The imposing shadow cast by the old lighthouse is getting longer each day. And that means uh, Lighthouse gets a, one additional floor. That will come into play at the end of the run, should we make it that far. Which, so far? I don't want to speak too soon, but this is actually going pretty well. So, yeah. For now, I have dogs to feed and uh, water to drink. So I can... Because my throat is really dry after all that talking. <laughs> Um, so I will be back soon. We'll continue this after a, sl after a short break. I am not going to save and quit because I don't know yet if that's stable. I've learned from the mistakes of a certain Durgan. But with that, back in a moment. <laughs> 